Their body searched before takeoff, then chaperoned on the flight. Hundreds of Tunisian migrants arrived on the tiny Italian island of Lampedusa last week. They'll now be moved to another asylum centre, but they don't know quite where. For most, it scarcely matters. They simply want to stay in Europe and eventually make it to France, where many have family or friends who can help them begin a new life. Once there, I'll be able to get my papers together. All my family is in France. But the French government has warned that only a few will be allowed to stay. Many of the migrants plan to apply for political asylum in Italy. But if they don't meet the conditions there, they'll be returned to Tunisia. The conditions still aren't back to normal after the president was overthrown in January. Everyone knows the situation in Tunisia is not stable right now. No president, no government. You simply can't live there. Italy has asked for 100 million euros from the European Union to cope with the influx of North African migrants. The European border agency Frontex is also lending a hand. On Tuesday, another 60 people arrived on Italian shores in Sicily, this time from Egypt.